Jacinda Ardern has now committed Labour to abortion liberalisation. In other words, to the introduction of a more extreme abortion law than the one we currently have. Labour is now New Zealand's abortion party. In fact, the pro-abortion lobby group, the Abortion Law Reform Association of New Zealand, has now enthusiastically and publicly endorsed Jacinda Ardern for her commitment to abortion liberalisation. This means that, if like me, you care about social justice and respect for human life, which obviously begins in the womb, then voting for Labour is just not an option anymore. Now a lot of people have genuine confusion about this, so let's clear up some important points. First of all, anyone who claims that abortion is illegal in New Zealand is either being dishonest or they are confused about the actual abortion laws we have. Yes, abortion is mentioned in the Crimes Act, but that doesn't make it illegal to have one. The Contraception, Sterilisation and Abortion Act of 1977 lays out the criteria under which abortion is legally permissible in New Zealand. Claiming that abortion is illegal is just as false as claiming that driving a car is illegal in New Zealand just because you need to fulfil certain necessary criteria before you are allowed to own and operate one in this country. Just stop and think about the absurdity of what is being suggested here. Abortions are carried out in broad daylight with the full knowledge of the New Zealand police in government-run hospitals or in clinics that are given abortion licences by the New Zealand government. Women are openly referred for abortions by their doctors, there is a government appointed committee that oversees all abortions taking place in New Zealand, and lots of data about abortion is officially collected and published to the general public every single year by the New Zealand Department of Statistics. And no woman is ever charged, sent to court, or put in jail for having an abortion. Does this sound like any illegal act that you've ever heard of before? The reason this doesn't sound like a criminal act is because abortion is not illegal in New Zealand. It is allowed by law and supervised and funded by the New Zealand government. The dishonesty of this claim only worsens when you realise that even if you remove abortion from the Crimes Act, you would still need a new law that, just like the current law, still makes abortion illegal in New Zealand under certain circumstances. Unless, of course, we want to live in a country in which abortions could be carried out in unlicensed facilities or private homes, or by backstreet abortionists, or using abortion drugs that were illegally imported, and for any reason, without any restrictions, right up to the moment of birth. Because that's exactly what the current law prevents from happening here in New Zealand. What makes Jacinda Ardern's staunch commitment to introducing a more extreme abortion law so perplexing is the fact that it comes at the very same time when less and less women are choosing to have abortions in this country. Our abortion rate has been steadily decreasing for the last 12 years. In 2016, there were 5,688 less abortions than what there were in 2003. And this is despite the fact that there are now more than half a million more people living in New Zealand since then. In other words, the number of abortions in New Zealand has dramatically decreased at the same time as our population has grown much larger in size. What this means is that Labour is not responding to any genuine social need here. Instead, they are wanting to impose a liberal abortion law because of their commitment to an ideology that holds a more extreme view about abortion. No law is perfect, but the current New Zealand abortion law provides important and basic safeguards that help reduce the risk of women being pressured or rushed into abortions that they would much rather not be having. The current law also protects New Zealand women against cowboy abortionists who put profits before people. But loosening our laws will almost certainly make it easier for more profit-driven abortionists who take safety risks to establish themselves in this country. Lastly, the current law recognises the ethical complexity of these issues and does not allow for abortion up to birth for any reason in New Zealand. Regardless of whether you are pro-life or pro-choice on the issue of abortion, there are lots of good reasons not to push through a more extreme abortion law in this country. And that's why I can no longer vote for the New Zealand Labour Party. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.